come on, give him some praise. Joy like no other. Reach and to me. We sing this because he died upon the cross. I found strength.
church say amen. Say amen one more time. Amen. Give God a hand clap of praise. Amen. As we celebrate Resurrection Day. Amen. We should have woke up happy this morning. Amen. Knowing, amen, that the day that we recognize that our Savior got up. Amen. From that tomb. Amen. Amen. They didn't go hide him. Amen. But he got up. Just like he said he would. Amen. And because he lives, we can face tomorrow. Amen. Has God been good to you? Has God done something for you? Has God made a way for you? Has God kept his promises to you? Amen. That's a reason to serve him right there. Amen. That's a reason to lift him up right there. I was glad when they said it to me. Let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen. And I'm glad to be here this morning. Amen. Y'all glad to be here? Amen. For some of us, this is our second helper. Amen. But we can't serve God enough. Amen. Amen. So let us join in together and have a good time on today. Oh, come, 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 let us kneel down, worship and adore, oh, come, come, let church this is a blessed day uh, our scripture reading will be coming from Psalm 100 and it say make a joyful noise unto the Lord all ye land serve the Lord with gladness come before his presence with singing know ye that the Lord he is God it is he that have made us and not we ourselves we are his people and the sheep of his pastor. Enter into the gates with thanksgiving and into his court with praise. Yes, sir. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endures to all generations. Amen. May God have a blessing to the reading. Not only that, but the hearers of his holy word. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we come right now in the name of Jesus. We come just to bless your name, Lord God. We come just to lift you up, Lord God. We come just to magnify your name, Lord God. We come just to give you praise, Lord God. We come just to thank you, Lord God, for you've been better to us than we've been to ourselves. Father, you said if thou be lifted up, you would draw us unto thee. So, Father, we welcome you right now, Holy Spirit, into the service of God. Lord, if ever a time we need you, Lord, we need you right now. Some need you for one thing, oh God, and some need you for another. But you said in your word, all we had to do was just ask and it shall be given. Lord, you said, seeking we shall find. 
Lord, you said, knock, every, and every door shall be open. Yes. So, Lord, open up our hearts today that we may give you the praise, the honor, and the glory that is due unto your name. Yes. Lord, we thank you for the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. Yes. We thank you for our church family here today, yes. Lord God. And we pray that you strengthen us where we're weak, build us up where we're torn down. Yes. Lord, if there's anyone oppressed today, Lord, we pray that you just help them. Lord, we know you to be a mighty God. Yes. For you said in your word that you won't leave us and you won't forsake us. You're that present help in the time of trouble. So, Lord, we ask that you just open doors that need to be opened. Yes. Shut doors that need to be shut. Father God, we ask that you remember the ones that are sick in the hospital, Lord God. Yes. And, Lord, we pray for the ones that are sick at home. Lord, you said you would be that burden bearer and that heavy load sharer for us. And, Lord, we pray that you just anoint our pastor afresh and use him for your glory. Yes. We'll be so careful to give you the honor, the glory, and the praise yes. that is due unto you. Yes. It's not about us, but it's all about you. Yes. For you hold the power in your hands, and we thank you, Jesus. Thank you for our ups, and we thank you for our downs. But you said in your word, weeping may endure for a night, but joy will come in the morning. And, Father, we give you all the praise. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.
sweet the sound Savior, Jesus the Christ. Amen. Yes, Amen. Thank you, Happy birthday and anniversary to those that may be celebrating birthdays and or anniversary. We ask you to please keep those on our healing list in your prayers. Special prayers for Miss Nellie Elmore. Amen. 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 We ask you to keep Miss Nellie lifted in prayer. Amen. 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 She's still in the hospital, Miss Bart. Yes. Amen. She's still in the hospital. Amen. But you, we ask you to please keep Sister Elmore in prayer. Amen. Because we know that prayer does work. Amen. Amen. Also, all bereaved families, we pray you keep bereaved families in prayer. Those who uh, loved ones have been, went home to be with the Lord. Yeah. We ask you continue uh, lifting them up in prayer, knowing that God can dry tears and God can mend, God can mend broken hearts. Amen. 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 Didn't we have a wonderful time this morning at our sunrise service? Yes, Amen. Yes, Mount Alexandra, amen, and with the Cedar Grove Baptist Churches, amen, we had a great time, yeah. amen, lifting up the Lord today, amen, yeah. amen, and it did, I felt like Reverend Allen, amen, it made me happy, amen, to see a church full of people, yeah. amen, yeah. praising the Lord like we're supposed to be, yeah. amen, like we are supposed to be doing, amen, on next Sunday, our very own Minister Betty Beatty, amen, will preach at the Harris Grove Baptist Church. Amen. For their church anniversary. Amen. amen. So we ask you all to continue praying for Minister Beatty. Amen. 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 That God uses her in a magnificent way. Amen. Also, amen, on the first Sunday in May, amen, we will have a baptism, baptism amen, amen. Sister Tiana Herbert. Amen. 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 We'll be baptized. On the first Sunday, amen. And also, we will celebrate a 136-year church anniversary. Amen. Amen. During our morning worship services, amen, we will celebrate God uh, showing mercy on the New Prospect Baptist Church for 136 years. Amen. Amen. We must be doing something right. Amen. In the eyesight of the Lord, amen. And again, sirs and ma'ams, amen, we are looking forward Amen, to that great celebration. Amen, as we celebrate our church anniversary. Amen, also, amen, as I informed you all on last week, they will have uh, food for you all in to-go boxes. Amen? Amen. Amen, and also, y'all know the saying, amen, we asking every member to give a dollar for every year, but if you can't, amen, like the sale price, how they get you, amen, $135.99 will do, amen. Also, amen, the second Sunday of May, we will honor and recognize our wonderful mothers. Amen. amen. And on the third Sunday, we will have our Women's Day with Reverend Patricia Jones. Amen. 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 Also, uh, our Facebook and YouTube pages, y'all know, amen, many join us, uh, or many uh, go back and watch us on YouTube because everybody doesn't have Facebook. Uh, and some of the mess on Facebook, I don't blame them. <laughs> but, uh, but many, amen, join us, amen, on Facebook and YouTube, amen, and also, amen, they, uh, I, I've come to call them uh, online members, amen. amen, because they also give as well, amen, uh, through 
uh, our cash app, the dollar sign NPBC6801. Hey Amen. Again, we thank each and every one of you for being here this morning. Amen. But most importantly, God thanks you for having him on your mind and your heart. Amen. And as we go throughout this day and we celebrate with our friends and our family, amen, because many are getting together. Amen. It's, it, I mean, we have to be cautious, amen, but people are tired of not getting together. Amen. 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 Families are ready to start back having their normal Easter functions, amen, and the yeah. kids running around. Because it's a beautiful day today, yeah. amen, that God has blessed us with, amen, and he saw fit the rain's going to hold off to tomorrow. Amen. Amen. And we thank him for that. Amen. So enjoy your families today. Enjoy one another. Love on one another. Because we never know. Amen. It was many here last year, Easter. Amen. And they're not here this Easter. Amen. So I always tell folks, amen, holidays and special days are meant to be spent with your friends, your family, and your loved ones. Amen. Because that's when the memories are made. That's when the jokes are told. That's when the people, y'all know how we act when we around one another. Amen. We have a good time. Amen. And God wants us to have a good time in life. Amen. But he also wants us to serve him. Amen. Amen. So God bless each and every one of you. Amen. We pray. Amen. You all have a wonderful, beautiful day today. And give uh, Deacon Wright a hand clap as he comes.
Sometimes the store don't have it. Sometimes mom and daddy don't have it. Sometimes husband or wife don't have it. Amen. Children never have it. Amen. But God always has it. Amen. Amen. He has everything that you need. Amen. 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 We stand before you this morning. Amen. Giving honor to God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. As you turn your Bibles to the book of Luke, amen, amen, turn your Bibles to the book of Luke, amen, we thank God for our ministers, our deacons, our trustees, our ushers, members, choirs, and friends, amen, amen, amen. it's always great to be in the house of the Lord, but what better day than on Easter Sunday, amen. to be in this holy place, amen? amen, amen, and also, amen, y'all keep my uh, my friend, amen, y'all's friend, we all like to give him a hard time, but y'all keep brother pluting your prayers, amen? amen, amen, he ain't feeling too well, amen, y'all know something up if he not here, amen, amen. I thought Duke Power had finally called him to do something, <laughs> amen, but he, he's not feeling well, amen, the book of Luke, amen, we're going to read chapter 23 verse 46, then we're going to jump over to chapter 24, and read verses 1 through 6, and we're going to let the Lord have his way. And when Jesus had cried with a loud voice, he said, Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. And having said this, he gave up the ghost. Yes, yes. Chapter 24, and now upon the first day of the week, very early in the morning, there came into the subject bringing the spices which they had prepared and certain others with them. And when they found the stone rolled away from the sculpture, yeah. they entered in and found not the body of the Lord Jesus. Amen. And it came to pass as they were much perplexed thereabout, behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. And as they were afraid and bowed down their faces to the earth, they said unto them, Why seek ye the living among the dead? He is not here, but is risen. Remember how he spake unto you when he was yet in Galilee. Uh, verse 7, saying, The Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified and the third day rise again. Amen. 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 The word of God for the people of God. We want to talk from a topic briefly this morning. The greatest comeback to ever happen. Amen. The greatest comeback to ever happen. We all love a good comeback story. Whether it be fiction or nonfiction. We love to see or hear a story about those who have been broken down. Those who have been beaten down, overwhelmed, and have come out of nowhere out of obscurity and hopeless conditions to beat the odds. Can I get a witness? When I look back in history, amen, and I think about, amen, Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln was a man that, who had less than three years of formal education. Abraham Lincoln was a man who had two failed business ventures, was a man who ran for public office and we talk about the times he won, he won twice, but we don't talk about the eight times that he lost. But ultimately, he was able to come back and to become the 16th president of the United States. It goes to show you, amen, you have to learn how to persevere. Amen. Can I get a witness? Amen. And even recently, amen, a couple of weeks ago, we were watching the NCAA basketball championship, and North Carolina was up 15 points at halftime. 
Many North Carolina fans, they had thought they already had won the game. And they came back, amen, in the second half, and the University of Kansas, amen, kept fighting and kept clawing, and Kansas came back and beat the Tar Heels. Amen. All I come to tell you this morning, amen, is that we must learn that as long as there's time, we have a chance. Amen. Can I get a witness? Amen. As long as we are breathing, we have an opportunity for it to happen amen. because we have God on our side. Amen. Am I right about it? Yes, my brothers and sisters, the reason I believe we love to see a remarkable comeback is because it gives us hope. Yes, it gives us hope, bringing a glimmer of light into the darkness of our self-doubt. Beloved, we must rise above the setbacks that life throws our way, knowing that a setback is only giving God a chance to give us a comeback. Amen. Can I get a witness? Yes, amen, because we have to remember, my brothers and sisters, that we can't have a testimony without a test. Amen. In order for us to come back, amen, the first thing we must remember, amen, because there are qualities for those who experience a comeback, we must not give up. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Amen. Giving up is not an option. That's what I tell people all the time, amen, when I talk to them, amen, and they've been going through what they're going through. I tell them giving up is not an option amen. because God ain't brought you this far to leave you. Can I get a witness? Amen. Matter of fact, amen, he said that he would never leave you nor forsake you. He'll be there with you until the end. Amen. Am I right about it? Amen. So we must always remember, amen, that giving up is not an option because you can't come back if you give up. I wish I had a witness in here. You can't come back, amen, if you give out. Can I get a witness? Amen, but we must learn to stay in that thing and fight. Amen, the song says fight on, you fight on. Put your sword in your hand and you fight on. All I come to tell you this morning, amen, is that you must learn to fight on. Amen, but when I think about the word back, amen, there are a few compound words with back. One word is get back. Can I get a witness? Yes, get back, amen. And that's what some of us need to do, amen. We need to get back out of the way and let God be God. Y'all quiet on me. Amen. Too many times, amen, we want to take things in our own hand. Too many times, amen, we think that we are in control. Too many times, amen, we want to be front and center. But I come to tell you this morning that sometimes we got to learn to get back. Am I right about it? Amen. amen. Sometimes if you look at the ball game, amen, in football, they have a coach called the get-back coach. And his job is to make sure everybody is back on the sideline. I come and tell you this morning, amen, that sometimes the get-back coach is telling you to get back on the sideline. Because the last time I checked, amen, God will fight your battle. The, can I get a witness? The last time I checked, amen, God will take care of you. So we must learn to get back. And another thing we got to do, we got to learn, and this is for the children, to quit talking back. Wow. Y'all know, like I know, when we was coming up, amen, you didn't talk back. Can I get a win? Mom and daddy said something, amen, you put your lips together and went on your way. Back in our day, amen, I know I'm younger than y'all, but if you look wrong, they thought you were talking back. Y'all didn't have people like that y'all grew up with, did you? You better not even look wrong. You was better off just looking down. Then they tell you, look at me, boy. Amen, but kids today, they talk back too much. Can I get a win? I always got something to say, and I tell my kids, this ain't no discussion. You're not grown yet. Can I get a witness? Amen. When mom and daddy talk, you listen. If you don't like it, you go on. Amen. And sometimes God says things to us, amen, that we may not want to hear. Sometimes God, our Father, amen, have to tell us things and, and make us do things that we may not really want to do. But it ain't our job to talk back to God. It's our job to do what God told us to do. Can I get a witness? Thinking about another back, amen, I'm thinking about the word payback. 
Y'all know some Negroes won't pay you back. It must just be me, Mr. Bill. They must think since I'm the real, amen, I don't, I don't want my money back. Amen, but some people won't pay back, and when I think about payback, I think about my main man, James Brown, son the song. The big payback. Y'all didn't think I knew that, Miss Bess. Payback, amen. Payback, amen. And, when I, and what bothers me about that word payback is sometimes when somebody does us wrong, we want to pay them back. And I ain't talking about with no money. I'm talking about we want to tell them about themselves. We want to put hands on them. And I ain't talking about holy hands. But we have to learn, amen, to let God take care of that stuff. The word of God says, vengeance is mine, said the Lord. Amen. So we can't run around here in life trying to pay people back for the wrong when they done to us. Amen. Too many times we spend life, amen, somebody wronged us, amen, and we spend time and time thinking how I'm going to pay them back. How I'm going to get them back. I know I ain't the only one did that before. Y'all just quiet on me. I know y'all holy today. It's Easter. Amen. But all of us are sinners. All of us have fell short of God's glory. And at one time I got myself so consumed on trying to pay them back, I realized that I was falling back. Can I get a witness? Amen. Amen. But not just that. Amen. My brothers and sisters, when the setbacks come, we must always remember to keep our hand in God's hand. Because our life is full of trials and tribulations. And I don't care how old you are, how young you are, setbacks will occur. Sometimes it don't happen as quick as we want it to happen. Sometimes, amen, it seems like when we take five feet forward, we take ten feet back. Am I the only one that done that before? Amen. But one thing I come to tell y'all this morning, amen, is that long as God is sitting on the throne, as long as there's breath in your body, you have the opportunity for a comeback. And that's all we come to talk about this morning, amen, the greatest comeback to ever happen. Amen. It started, amen, Holy Week, what many consider, Jesus rode in on a donkey. Can I get a witness? Then, amen, he went to the temple, amen, and he cleared out the temple because he told them this is a house of prayer, amen. not a den of thieves. Amen. And I'm going to pause right there to remind y'all that you can't do any and everything in the church. Amen. Can I get a witness? Amen. amen. You got to be like some of them say back in the day, amen, I'll meet you outside, amen, when we get done with church. Amen. But you can't do any and everything in church. And I've seen too many things in church. I seen a man one day, amen, it wasn't here, so y'all don't get worried. But a man stuck his hand in his pocket, come out of his pocket, one of them little tabs hit the floor with numbers on it. Y'all know what I'm talking about. He just put his foot over it. And when the man went on, he reached down, picked it up, and put it back in his pocket. If you don't know what them little tabs with numbers on it is, ask somebody when you leave here. Amen. <laughs> amen. Then, amen, he went to the Mount of Olives. And that old Judas who walked with him, Judas, amen, who Jesus washed his feet. Judas, who Jesus was there for, who witnessed the miracles, betrayed him. Can I get a witness? Not only that, amen, then he went into the Passover. Had the last supper with his disciples in the upper room. And then Friday rolled around. Friday, amen, when they rather crucified our Jesus. Who was an innocent man. Yes. Our Jesus who had done no wrong. He only wanted to help people. He only wanted to tell them about his father. And what God could do for him. Can I get a witness? Amen. But they saw fit to crucify Jesus and let the man who had done wrong go on about his business. I come to tell you this morning, amen, that sometimes when you're trying to do the right thing, amen, sometimes folks will try to crucify you. Can I get a witness? Because the world that we live in today, I've learned, Deacon Hunter, that they call right wrong and wrong right. But I stopped by this morning to tell y'all to keep doing the work of the Lord. Because you got a comeback waiting for you. 
Story says, amen, that Jesus, amen, that they tried him and they found him guilty. I don't know what's guilty about him. Can I get a witness? Because I found him to be nothing but good. Am I right about it? Matter of fact, he's better to me than I've been to myself. Can I get a witness? Then they found him guilty, amen, and they whipped him all night long. But that makes me feel good a little bit because I realized that by his stripes I am healed. Because he was bruised for my transgressions. Can I get a witness in here? And when you are a child of God, when you realize what Jesus has done for you, amen, your soul starts to get stirred up. But it makes you sad a little bit and put tears in your eyes because you realize how bad they done it. And my brothers and my sisters, I don't think words can describe how they truly done it. I don't think the movies and the pictures that we watch can really depict how they treated our Savior. Can I get a witness? Amen. But they put that cross and he carried that old rugged cross up Calvary's hill. Can I get a witness? He carried it up, carried his hill, amen, Calvary hill, and they hung him on that old rugged cross. I heard somebody say, amen, they put nails in his hand. Somebody else said they put nails in his feet. Somebody else said, amen, they put a crown of thorns on his head. And they pushed it down so hard, amen, blood began to spew out. And back then, amen, when they crucified somebody, amen, and I want y'all to know this morning that crucifixion back then was humiliation. Amen. It was horror to see that, amen. And they wanted to humiliate Jesus. But I think they forgot Deacon Briggs that he said, if I be lifted up from the earth, I'll draw all men unto me. Can I get a witness? After they hung in there, Back then, they would break people's legs. They would break bones in their body. But the word of God said that a bone, a bone wouldn't be broken in his body. Can I get a witness? But that old rugged God, he took that spear and put it in his side. I heard somebody say that blood and water came coming up out of him. But before then, he bowed his head. Because he realized his work here was finished. He bowed his head. Because he realized I'd done all I could do. He bowed his head. Gave up the ghost. And then he died. Somebody said, that's not where the story ends. See, when the enemy got you down, they think it's over for you. When the enemy got you down, they don't realize the God that you serve and how he, he's a miracle worker. Is there anybody here that God turned that thing around for you? Let me hear you say, yeah, ain't the Lord all right? Somebody said that he died. They took him off on that cross, put him in the old buried tomb. They thought it was finished, but that's where the greatest comeback, the greatest comeback in history occurred. Somebody said early that Sunday morning, he got up with power, wonder working power, life changing power. Can I get a witness? Is there anybody here that's seen the power of the Lord working their life? How about you say yeah? Ain't the Lord all right? The greatest comeback to ever happen. And since he got up, I can face the Lord. Since he got up, I know everything is going to be all right. But one of these old days, he's going to come back again. One of these old days, he's going to stop on the old on the crowd. The trumpet's going to sound. The dead in Christ going to get up. And we're going to be caught up. In the rapture together. The greatest comeback to ever happen. Many, many years ago, he came back. He told them what he was going to do. Y'all know if he lived in, in our times, somebody would spoil it for him. 
they get on Facebook. He coming back tomorrow, y'all. They get on the internet, because some, uh, somebody always want to be the first one to report a story. He let it happen. Yeah. Amen. He told him what he was going to do. Yeah. And he did it. And those that followed him, amen, went there to prepare. And when he was gone, amen, they were alone. Those that believed in him, walked with him, was there with him. Amen. amen. We got to believe in him, y'all. Yeah. He's going to do just what he said he's going to do. Yeah. Amen. I always tell people, it ain't your job to worry. It's your job to believe. Amen. Quit worrying and start believing. Amen. Your comeback is right around the corner. Amen. Somebody done counted you out, but your comeback right around the corner. Somebody done gave up on you, but your comeback right around the corner. Talked about that last week, how man want to write people off. But God searches your heart. That's why you can come back. You got to believe it. I can't just believe it for you. I just can't believe he's going to hear you. You got to believe he's going to hear you. I just can't believe he's going to increase your finances, enlarge your territory. You got to believe it. I can stand up here Sunday after Sunday and tell you what God can do, how God can do it, but if you don't believe it, That's it, boo. You can't receive. Amen. I thank you for that great comeback. Better than any ball game we'll watch. Better than any book we'll read. Better than any movie we'll watch. The greatest comeback to ever have. Doors of the church are open. You may come however you want to come. Have a knowledge of your heart, baptism, Christian experience by letter. Hallelujah. We ask you to come before it's everlasting too late. You have won the victory. Everybody sing hallelujah. That's why I bought us. Death could not hold you down. Everyone. You are the risen king. Jesus, that we humbly bow before your presence. 
Father God, thanking you for this resurrection day. God is not dead. He is still alive. And he rules and he reigns in your hearts today. Father, thank you for being Lord. <laughs> you are the Lord of all. And Father, we thank you for your goodness and your kindness. Your grace and your mercy today. Father God, you sent your son Jesus because you wanted more sons and more daughters. And God, as we lift your name on high, you're going to draw all men unto yourself. And not only that, God, but we are the church. And Father God, we supposed to disciple men to come unto you. We have to leave these four walls and go out into the highways, the hedges, the byways, and compel dying men, women, boys, and girls to come. Come into the kingdom of God. Come into the family of Almighty God. You can find peace there. Love is there. Healing is there. Every yoke of bondage is broken there. Father God, you have whatever we need today. You are a bondage breaker. It don't matter what we are addicted to. Father God, we don't have to be bound. We thank you for your blood today. Because it's your blood that purges our conscience of dead works that we don't sin against you. Thank you for your living word. Thank you for your truth today, God. Said if anybody need wisdom to seek after you, and we can find it in your word. Your word is truth. Your word will not return back void. Your word is life to those that find it and health to all our flesh. And pastor's already said, whatever you need today, you can have it. You got to believe for it. You got to open up your mouth and ask for it. Amen. But you can't ask according to what you will. It's according to what the Lord will. Sometimes we don't get what we ask. We won't because we don't, we ask amiss. We don't ask it according to the word of God. We got to be doers of the word and not hearers only. Father God, we thank for God that you look beyond our faults and you do see our needs. But we thank you for granting your mercy, God, that allows us to live our lives a little while longer. You give us chance after chance to get it right. That's good news. Because you don't turn your back on us, Lord God. We may walk away from you, but you will never leave us. You'll never forsake us. And that's good news today. Father, we thank you, God, for all those who are assembled around this altar today. Father God, petition you, oh God, for what their hearts desire. And Father God, we know that you got the answer. And we thank you, God, for meeting them at their point of need today. Father God, I pray that you strengthen them in their walk with you today. Father God, do it, give them a mind to keep their mind stayed on you. Because when their minds are stayed on you, God, you will keep us in perfect peace. Thank you, God. It doesn't matter what war is going on. You're still in control. And we're in a spiritual battle today, God. But God, you have given us the weapons to use. You said to put on the helmet of salvation. Put on the belt of truth. The sword of the spirit. To shod our feet with the preparation of peace. And take your word in our hands, which is the sword, Lord God. And we, the battle is already won. 
That battle has been fought. And God, we thank you for the victory. We claim it now, God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, you said we walk by faith and not by sight. It's a faith walk. We got to believe it. And if we can see it before we see it, we can have it. God, we pray for those on the battlefield. We pray for those that's in the prisons. Father God, we pray for those who don't know you in the free pardon of their sins. God, we pray for those families who are going through bereavement right now. And Father God, we pray your divine peace and comfort among them all. Everything we need, you got it, and we thank you for it. And we thank you again, God, for this resurrection day. For you getting up all out, out of all the grave with all power in your hands. We thank you, God, you're still in the blessing business. And we thank you for showering down your blessings upon every family represented here today, God. And God, as we leave this place on today, cover us, oh God. Give your angels charge over us to keep us in all our ways. Protect us from all hurt, harm, and danger. And God will forever give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. Yes, sir. It's in Jesus' name I pray. No Amen. Love. No
Amen. Amen. No greater love, amen, than what Jesus did for each and every one of us. Amen. Amen. That's why ain't none of us better than nobody. Amen. Because he humbly and died for each and every one of us. And got back up early that Sunday morning with all power in his hand. Amen. Amen. God bless each and every one of you. Heaven forever smile upon you. Amen. Amen. We pray you all have a wonderful, wonderful day today. Amen. As you uh, celebrate with your friends and family. And most of all, amen, we recognize what Jesus did for us. Amen. Amen. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. God has spoken. So let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. God has spoken. So let the church say amen. God has spoken. So let the church say amen. Amen. Let us pray. Our wise God, Lord, we thank you for today. And Lord, we thank you for allowing us to this allowing us the opportunity to come to this house of praise one more time. God, Lord, we pray that everything we done was pleasing in your sight. God, we didn't do it for no form, so or fashion, but we did it for you to be glorified. As we recognize the day, God, that you allowed your son Jesus to get out of the grave with all power in his hand. Dear God, Lord, we pray as we depart this place, but never ever from your presence. God, Lord, that you would keep us, hold us, that, and allow us to become what you would have us to be. Lord, bless each and every one under the sound of my weak voice. Dear God, Lord, we pray you give them the desires of their heart. But God, I also pray, God, that we live our lives according to your word. Because you told us in your word that you won't withhold nothing from those that walk uprightly. Dear God, Lord, we praying for those in the hospital. Lord, touch Sister Elmore right now in the name of Jesus. God, Lord, uh, anoint her, God. Uh, Lord, let her feel your presence from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet, God. Lord, Lord, so that she may be able to get out of that hospital bed one more time. God, she may be able to get up, God, and tell somebody, Lord, I had a setback, but I thank God for my comeback. Dear God, Lord, touch her right now in the name of Jesus. Not just Miss Nelly, God, but anybody, God, that's calling on your name right now. Anybody, God, that's reaching out to you, knowing what you can do. Knowing how you can do it. God, and they just want to tell you thank you. God, Lord, we love you today. God, we praise you today. God, we uplift your name today. Now, may the love of Jesus Christ, the grace of God, and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit rest rule now henceforth and forevermore. And all God's children said, God bless you. Heaven forever smile upon you.